So I haven't done one of these crystal showcases in quite a while, but for this, I have to. I have to show this off because I'm setting up a new area where I'm going to be doing uh, my cutting with a much bigger slab saw and was looking for specimens to put around for the backdrop and um, this was in my kitchen, believe it or not. I have, I have stuff just everywhere. But this guy was in my kitchen, way at the top of a shelf, on the, and you could barely see the thing. So, I remember this, and it's time that it comes out and gets some recognition. So, this is just a huge piece of agate. I mean, you could see all the awesome bands. I mean, this in itself is pretty awesome. The way they cut this thing, just like a cube within all of the, the thick of the material. So first I will show how cool it looks just as is. And you, I mean, it's massive. I, I do remember where I bought this. Um, this side definitely is in need of some work. It looks like you could see some saw marks still. I don't think they really polished it. So I might have to work on that one. But still, all in all, very cool and pretty expensive too. I mean, just a massive piece of agate, right? I mean, look at this compared to my hand. I mean, this thing is huge. Here is where it takes the cool turn. And I've never seen anything like this. And this is why, this is one of the reasons I, I bought it. Even if it wasn't what I'm about to show you, I would have bought it anyway, because it's pretty awesome. Um, but check this out. And this is what separates this from a lot, well, any other agate I have in my personal collection. So here we go. And we are going to pop this top right off. And <laughs> that is insane. So the way this grew, and look at the cool, like, blue, purple vein kind of thing running through it. I mean, it's got a soft, bluish green hue to it. And just the way this thing formed for how, millions of years, I mean layer after layer after layer but all this just separated from it naturally because of the way it was cut it was cut as like a perfect square in that matrix material and this piece just popped right off however and it just fits like a you know a puzzle piece right back on top and also we got the entire bottom that does the same thing like a puzzle piece. Now, give me a second here because I'm struggling. This thing is super heavy. So let me take this piece off. And now, even though this is still very heavy, you could see the bottom. I mean, look at how cool that is in this whole bottom piece is its own separate layer. How gorgeous is that? I mean, so unique, and I'm so happy to have this in my collection. Very cool. And I just, I, I just think that's so awesome. And you'd never know, just by looking at it, that this thing is in three different layers. Just shows you how these things form, I mean, it, absolutely incredible. So there you go. I wanted to show you my awesome puzzle piece agate. I don't know what you want to call that. I'm not exactly sure what type of agate it is. I mean, there's so many, but it's definitely agate. Look at all the beautiful bands and waves. But I just think that's so cool. Again, sitting on the shelf, you'd never know that this thing could peel apart like an onion and go back together perfectly. So, hope you enjoyed, 
and I will start bringing back some more crystal showcase videos. I have so many cool pieces to uh, show off that are on my shelves, or I have stuff in every room of the house. <laughs> it's it's getting a little crazy. Pretty soon I won't be able to walk. So, all right, there you have it. Awesome piece of agate.